welcome and thank you so much for joining me today how was your night we're going to be looking at the devotion for january 26 and the topic before us is journey of the heart our bible reading today is going to be taken from acts 16 verse 31 and it says and they said believe on the lord jesus christ and thou shalt be saved amen Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Going straight into the devotion, it says, I object to the charge that Toza preaches experience. I preach Jesus, the Savior. That is my calling. But I'm positive, positive about the validity, the reality, and the value of genuine Christian experience. We can talk to Jesus just as we talk to our other friends. Now, it's important we know this as believers now, just making a comment of, on what we've read, that we can talk to Jesus even as we talk to our friends. Because people always wonder, if I have so many things going on, like how can I tell it to God? Or how can I tell it to Jesus? And they feel like, oh, I have to take out this time, look for a place to hide, and then talk to God. You can talk to Jesus even as you're driving your car, like you can talk in an audible voice. Talk to him as you talk to your other friends. So there's nothing as valuable as having a genuine Christian experience. And so we're going to be looking at what that really entails. Going back to the devotion, as a boy, I was not a Christian. I did not have the privilege of growing up in a home where Christ was known and loved. God spoke to me through a street preacher who quoted the words of Jesus. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. That invitation let me know that Jesus is still calling. Come now. I went home and up into the attic. There in the earnest prayer, I gave my heart and life to Jesus Christ. My feet had taken me home into the attic, but it was my heart that went to Jesus. Hallelujah. Within my heart, I consented to go to Jesus. I have been a Christian ever since that moment. Praise the Lord. I don't know what, what your Christian experience has been, especially for those people, even like myself, who didn't grow up in a Christian background. But the day you decide to give your heart to Jesus, you decide to accept him as your Lord and personal Savior and begin to walk to know him. You begin to walk to build intimacy, to cultivate fellowship, friendship. You know, it brings a whole new meaning to the Christian experience. So I want to pray today for as many who have not given their heart wholly to Jesus who have not given their life to Jesus. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. So today you have to not just believe in your heart, you must confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and you must also believe in your heart, and that way he will come in. Jesus is still beckoning on you today to come. Come. Whatever it is that is a burden to you. Jesus is calling you today to come and he will give you rest. Hallelujah. There's a prayer here that says, Dear Jesus, I want to thank, thank you for saving me through your, through your difficult journey to the cross. Give me grace and strength to honor your sacrifice through my life this week. I want you to thank the Lord this morning. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Thank you, O oh Lord, for saving us through your difficult journey to the cross. We know it wasn't easy. The shame, the reproach, O oh God, that you had to bear. So, Lord, this morning we ask, give us the grace, give us the strength to honor your sacrifice through our life this week. Let my life preach Jesus. Let my actions preach Jesus. Let my interactions preach Jesus. In Jesus' victorious name we have prayed. And we say take all the glory, take all the honor, take all the adoration. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Thank you so much for joining me. Please share this with your friends and I'll see you tomorrow by God's grace. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.